right now, I'm cutting off the spring perches and the shock mounts off the new axle. And we're gonna weld new perches on. And it's gonna be mint. So if you do this correctly, you should be able to cut off all the mounts without damaging the axle housing. I have yet to grind that up, but I'm quite confident that there's not really any damage, if at all, to the axle. Uh, we're going to put this axle seal was leaking, so we're going to change both wheel seals. Got it all cleaned it up, cleaned out. We have it all cleaned out in there. Looks good. So I managed to cut them off not too badly. I mean, it could have been cleaner, but I could have salvaged them if they weren't so, well, they're pretty thin and worn out already. But if you look at the holes, they're like blasted out. Like this thing drove around with a loose axle for quite a while. I ordered new ones. I'm gonna reuse the torque rod mount though. I'm quite confident that'll work. Managed to get that off with little to no damage. Easily clean up and we can easily clean that up and re-weld it, no problem. So here we got a bunch of boxes of parts. New rotor, brand new chrome power steering pump. This truck never came stock with power steering, it was Armstrong steering. And we got this nice brand new power steering box right here. We're gonna get the springs, the shocks, the calipers. So we're gonna we're gonna paint it body color, which is gonna be like a battleship gray kind of like a pastel glossy gray and then the rest of it's going to be black and then we got our frame and our ladder bars the ladder bars are just going to be black but the frame is going to be linexed black <laughs> So here we got the Corvette LT1 engine for the Chevy. We just kind of decided to go ahead and pull off the oil pan and the valve covers just to kind of have a look and see what was inside. A little bit uh, surprised with what we found. Uh, it's, it's not quite as much horsepower as we anticipated. The crankshaft is not is only a, it's an iron crankshaft. Iron, cast iron crankshaft. Nothing too special. Still got stamp rockers. It's got a pretty aggressive cam in it. The crank bearings were a little bit warm. So as you can see, number four crank bearings not in the best shape. And a big old scar right down the middle. Obviously a piece of metal went through there at some point. Fortunately, the crankshaft's in, is still in good shape, so the bearing did what it was supposed to. This engine was only supposed to have 8,000 kilometers on it when I bought it, but it seems to me that it either has a lot more mileage or it went 8,000 kilometers with, like, on the break-in oil or something because has a lot more wear than it should. So we're gonna go ahead and put the other valve cover gasket in the new valve cover. Well, not new, but in the fancy shiny valve cover. 